Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get out of bounds in Cook Burgers. You can just walk around on an invisible layer of, uh, you can just like basically fly above everybody. So, I'm going to show you two methods. Uh, so let's get started right away. First though, I'm going to reset the server, so I'll be right back. Alright, I've reset the server, so let's get started right away. Alright, so first our first method what we're going to want to do is we are going to come back behind this wall and hit that lever uh, by right clicking then we're going to come over here to the sewer and uh, see hitting that lever lowered that bridge will lag um which lets us get across here and we can do that by item hopping but the entire reason we're doing that is to get items down here so now we've got this lab area if you already have items down here you can turn them into potions or we've got some potions here let's right click to interact with it and drink it now we are a rat now there are a couple other ways to do this if you really wanted to. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you can buy a rat potion for $15 in the shop. Or uh, if you have any of the rat game passes, you can just instantly turn into a rat. Uh, so, but now, now that we're a rat, we're going to go into the kitchen. And we'll grab one of any food item. And we're, now we're going to leave with it. We're going to bring it to the sewer. And then we're going to drop it right in here in the shadow. Now let's reset our character. And now we're going to walk back to the sewer as a, an employee. And now the reason we did that is because that's the only way to bring items down into the sewer. You can only do it as a rat. So, yeah. Now that, uh, now that we've got this, and also I highly recommend using the X27 prototype if you have it, it makes the entire process so much easier. But we're going to find this wall that we can walk through here. And I'm going to set it on this pedestal. Now jump on it so you're standing on it. Make sure you jump onto it instead of walk onto it or else it'll slide like that if you jump. Then, if you have the X27 prototype, you can pretty much just skip that step by uh, decreasing your distance. Uh, so it's right under you. But now we can uh, come out of the sewers. And here we are. We can go above the map. So there are a couple different things we can explore down here. I have no idea what's supposed to be in this room. This might be the, uh, oh, this is the lap. I thought it was higher up. Anyway. Uh, we can get on top of the map here. I think that should be good. It was not good. Gotta get up a little bit higher. There we are. There we go. Now we're up on top of the map. And make sure not to walk too near to this area right here. Because as you can see right there, you're gonna, you're gonna fall because uh, of a reason that I will explain during the next method, so make sure you keep watching until then uh, to figure out why that is. And then there's also a little thing down here that I saw. I don't recognize it. Yeah, there it is. Ah, that's what it is. That's the ladder. Um, I died. I fell into the void. Anyway, I'll have a card appear up in the top uh in the top uh right hand corner linking to a video about um why that ladder exists it's right here and it's actually to lift this thing up this is the ladder we saw and anyway that ladder goes up to 103 meters uh which brings us to our next method the border is not 103 meters above the ground oh and sorry about that background noise i forgot to turn off my air conditioner um, but anyway, they introduced a, what when they added the badge to get the, sorry about that, when they added the badge to get the 103 meter burger, they had to make a little hole above there, uh, 
that goes past the barrier so we can grab any item and as long as we're close enough to the thing we can just hop right through the barrier and here we are on top of them on top of the world we can just stand up here we can leave our ingredients up here um there used to also be a mini island, I'm not sure if it's still here, like somewhere over here, before the introduction of sauces, teasing at the introduc- in, uh, teasing at the introduction of sauces, and I don't remember exactly where it is, um, but a lot of people already know that you can play this game in VR mode, and you can actually go up and place items in the VR spawning area, and then VR players can pick up those items before they even spawn, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, look, our, our rat stole our lettuce. But anyway, thank, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. I still have multiple more Cook Burgers videos planned for tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, our next giveaway is going to be at 500 subscribers. Uh, there's going to be a $10 Steam gift card just like, the, uh, just like our most recent one just last week was. Uh, make sure you tune into that. The way you do that is by subscribing. So please do that. It helps support me and grow my channel. And again, thank you for watching and bye.